welcome to Raw Fusion Foods. Today we are making macadamia nut cheese and this is a very silky, delicious cheese. And you can do a lot of things with it afterwards and adding in your different spices and herbs and variations and all of that. So to start, we're going to take one cup of macadamia nuts. I have soaked these in water, purified water, for four hours or overnight. And then we have one fourth cup of purified water. I'm going to blend these two together and let them ferment. I'm going to ferment them on the counter and then I'm going to come back and add my seasonings. When, when we season them and I have my cheese, I'm going to re-blend it with one tablespoon of nutritional yeast and this gives you all your B vitamins in mega, mega quantities. And unlike those energy drinks, this is bioavailable. Your body can absorb this, and this is the good stuff. So you want to get this one. Nutritional yeast, yummy. So then we have one and a half tablespoons of fresh lime juice one half teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and this one you can even see it see the different colors dancing in there that the, the darker red is the mother and when you buy this vinegar if you look for that word on the bottle you're getting the good stuff so eat eat the good stuff and one half, one fourth teaspoon of sea salt. There is a big difference in sea salt and regular table salt. Table salt is actually industrial grade salt and that's really bad for your body. So go ahead and give your body the good stuff and the sea salt, natural sea salt is it. Now, in our cheese, we're going to add one teaspoon of probiotic powder to one cup of nut cheese. This is going to add a starter of cultures to our cheese to just kind of start everything out and get it going. And you're going to ferment it in a glass container, not plastic. Plastic leaches chemicals, so you just want to use glass and we're going to cover it and leave it in a cool place. Now when I say cool, I mean room temperature and if it's leaning towards 60 degrees, you're gonna ferment your cheese for 24 hours and if you're in the hot weather of Las Vegas and it's 80 degrees at your room temperature, you're probably gonna ferment it for 12 hours and then blend with your spices. So let's get started. We have our high speed blender, our creamy silky nuts that have been soaking in water, so they're very silky. And we're going to do a trick. And this trick is credited to Chef Leona. So we have our water first. Whenever you're blending, you always want to put the most liquidest thing in the bottom of the blender because that'll make the whole thing blend much better. So we're going to take and just kind of slowly add in the nuts and blend them with the water. blend and this is a trick it's called 
getting stuff off the sides of the blender. I know that's not a good culinary term, but you have to take the set stuff off the sides of the blender and push it down and re-blend at times. We're gonna start on the one setting. And let's go up. product reviews. This blender is a new one. I think I like the skinnier top better. A wider blender top that I just bought and I think it's going to be very good for doing larger quantities um, of maybe smoothies and such but for this nut cheese um, it just when I try to feather it I'm putting my um, there's a lot of space between the blade and the the wall of the um, vessel and that means that there's a lot of more room for the buildup of the cheese on the walls of this and it's not getting into the vortex to be able to blend it's just sticking to the sides so i'm going to move to a smaller blend top um, this one historically has always worked pretty good for me and i think that we might be able to achieve better results with this one. So a little bit of a product review on the wider top. And macadamia nuts are pretty pricey, so I'm taking a little extra care to You know, you might even try one of those little bullet blenders, especially if you soak the nuts. I think that it'll it'll be better. It's a lot better. Especially with these smaller quantities. So you just want to keep blending and fold the product over to the middle and massage it into the middle while you're blending at a very low speed to try to, to go back into the middle and this will help it to keep blending. To make our cheese, we're going to add one teaspoon of probiotic powder to our one cup of nut cheese. Now 
Now for probiotic powder, you can use Acidophilus or this one is, um, they, there's many different blends. So any type of probiotic powder, even if it's in capsules or whatnot, just take it out of the capsule and measure it out. About one teaspoon of any brand of probiotic powder to one cup of nuts whether it be Astophilus or any type of even a yogurt starter. But um, this will help give, and, and each one is a little different, so it, it'll affect the taste, so you can experiment which brands you like and, and whatnot. Um, after you've added your probiotic powder, you're just gonna put it in a clear glass dish. And let it sit for 12 to 24 hours. Welcome to day two of our cheese. We fermented this overnight and we did not leave it in direct sunlight. So we're just gonna go and add it back to our blender and put in our seasonings. So the seasonings that we have, again, are the apple cider vinegar, the lime juice, and nutritional yeast, and sea salt. And I recommend just kind of working these in a little bit slowly turning it on on a low speed and just letting it kind of blend, adding, always adding your liquids first. And your salts. Salt. And the nutritional yeast. This looks so good and yummy, and you will love it. Well, thank you for watching. Enjoy your delicious raw cheese. You can add this on to so many dishes. And if you want, this is a basic cheese. You can add basil to it, add um, some spices, jalapeno rosemary, thyme. We even took and made a balsamic reduction raw in the dehydrator where we put the balsamic in. We just let the dehydrator run for a day or two and then drizzle this glaze over our delicious nut cheese. You can take this and put it into like a form so that it creates a shape and a lot of other things. So this is really a delicious, yummy cheese to add a nice layer of high protein, vitamins, minerals into your foods. Thank you for watching. And remember, saving the world begins with you.